day, Sarah and I made some delicious cauliflower steaks. This is what was left over. Today, we're gonna make instead a wonderful plate of pasta with the leftover cauliflower. We will also add a little bit of garlic and we have some sun-dried tomatoes. And as far as herbs, we're gonna use this beautiful rosemary from the garden. We have a small fire in the back left corner of the oven and we just need to have the oven heated up to about 450 degrees. We usually get dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, and then we rehydrate them and put them into olive oil. And if you guys are interested in making those, one day we can make a story on those. So now let's put the cauliflower right in here. Also chop up the sun-dried tomatoes into smaller pieces. Put all of it right in here with the cauliflower. And now for the fresh rosemary, we're just gonna pull back like this and chop up the rosemary as well. And now we'll place this in there as well to finish it off. Some salt to taste and some cayenne pepper flakes. Then we will also drizzle some good olive oil on top. We will give it a quick stir. We might have to add just a bit more olive oil, but this will go on a pan and in the oven. Now we're gonna put a quick drizzle of olive oil on this pan and immediately place our cauliflower right into it. We're going to spread it out so it can nicely brown everywhere and caramelize. And our cauliflower and sun-dried tomatoes are ready to go into the oven. Our oven has been preheating with a gentle fire on the far left corner. And now we're going to put our cauliflower in and close the door. Let's peel it real quick. And oh, look at there. We're gonna give it a quick stir, and I think we're almost ready. And here it is ready to be tossed with the pasta. Look at the sun-dried tomatoes and the aroma from the rosemary. Our cauliflower is going into this pasta that has been cooked al dente. We're gonna put it right in here, toss it up, with an additional drizzle of olive oil. And we will also add just a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano right into it. And now we're ready to serve it. And this is how we have been able to repurpose the leftover cauliflower. Once again, a dusting of Parmigiano. We'll put just a few little pepper flakes on there, a little bit of parsley, one more drizzle of olive oil, and we are ready to eat. Let's give it a taste, and look at this. Bon appétit!